Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to my Let's Play, which is looking at the new game Cold Waters by the developers of Killerfish Games. In this video, we're going to be returning in the middle of a fight against a Soviet Victor-class submarine and another submarine that I've identified as a Charlie, but will actually appear as something else. Uh, this is my first engagement with this enemy class of submarines. So while I have been doing some histories and things like that in my last several videos, I did want to go ahead and just kind of leave this one as is. This is sort of my initial reactions and initial engagement against this class of enemy submarines, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so this will just be a regular video that takes the live stream audio out of the video uh, that, I, uh, that I ran oh, a couple weeks ago now. Uh, but the next video in this series will, of course, return to the historical... Narratives, historical discussions, etc., etc. So, hope you guys enjoy the video, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching. Oh, shit. I think that's gonna hit. Ah. Where's this layer? Okay, so we're above the layer. But so are the torpedoes. They followed us up this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're cavitating. Let's duck back down below the layer, and then we'll leave a... Well, there's a lot of torpedoes below the layer, too. We hit the victor, but it's not dead yet, apparently. I need a little bit more depth if I'm going to increase speed like that. Oh boy, we're going down fast. Oh shit. It'd be real great to have a torpedo simulator right now. Or a sub simulator. Okay. One torpedo's down. Looks like two more are in the water. One more down. Rise the ship. Shit. Ah! Rudder offline. What? Well, fuck. I already shot at the Victor. Victor sunk. He he fell below rush depth. So I don't our rudder apparently our rudder's damaged, but I'm not quite sure how damaged because I mean we're decent at the moment. Full strength still 62%. Like a little bit better firing solution on the Charlie. We'll shoot back. So the Victor must have been damaged and dropped below crush depth because when we look, when we check the Victor out, there's nothing left. And when I did briefly look, there was uh, just kind of some debris. The ship still appears to turn somewhat. I mean, we can still turn the rudder, it seems. I think. Yeah, the, the rudder still turns. That must just be sluggish. Which, you know, when it comes to dodging torpedoes is a little bit of a problem. Yeah, we're not jammed, though. I'm just not sure on the... Uh, 
location of the Charlie. I suppose I can fire down its throat once I see that active ping again. We just hope that he's, you know, switch him out to active here. The wire's gonna break. But firing down the bearing of the sonar at least. One would one would hope it'll acquire the target. Let's bring the sub up a bit. Gonna try and get us above the duct before the enemy fires at us. He's cavitating, so he's maneuvering. Oh wait, he's below. He's a, is he above the duct? Oh, well, the enemy hasn't shot yet. Our torpedo looks like it's acquired something because it's it's rocketing to the you know upwards. The uh, the Charlie is it was cavitating. The torpedo took a sharp upward angle, so I'm going to guess it's acquired. Oh, it's a Sierra. It's not a Charlie, it's a Sierra, guys. Don't press F9. What does F9 do? So you guys always talk about the Sierra. What makes it so good in this game? Is it just quiet, or...? Is there something in particular that makes it a good... Oh, our torpedo's diving. He's sure not coming back at us. Um... Why on earth? I've never seen my torpedo do that before. Literally dive away from the target. Uh, I sure hope it hasn't detected me. Oh, fuck. It's going for the dead victor. God damn it. Although maybe it'll turn around and... reacquire the Sierra? I'm not sure. Which is weird, because the victor, you know, broke up into pieces. I'm not quite sure why it would try and acquire that. I know my wires are breaking because I'm not pointed at the enemy. What the hell is Mustard saying? Yeah, feel free to ban him if he's being a, a, a douche. God, that Sierra's fast. I think I way undershot this thing. <sighs> I'm gonna turn toward the target, I suppose. He's still pinging me. I don't understand why. I feel like that's kind of a, a game flaw if this Mark 48's just gonna hover around Victor debris. Seems like a bit of an issue. He's turning probably to fire, I would assume. I'm going to turn to fire. I've got one torpedo left. Although the Sierra's turning into my Mark 48, so maybe this the fish I've already fired, maybe it'll acquire. I think the angle's too sharp. I don't think it's going to acquire. Trying to visualize the triangle that you get on there. Oh, it looks like it's acquired. We'll see if uh, the Sierra can fool this one as well. Um, okay, I don't think it's over here. I'm pretty sure it's over here.
Okay, so he's closing in on the Sierra again. Um, doesn't the Mark 48 have like a 50 knot speed? What's the speed in game? Anybody know? I'm sure he'll fire a noisemaker and the damn thing will get all confused again. Just waiting for that inevitable noisemaker. He's turning, so there's the noisemaker, I think. At least... Maybe not. I don't... Or No, that was a knuckle. Ran into a knuckle. Come on, Mark 48. Don't go back toward the victor. That's just annoying if you do. Come on. Reacquire, boy. You got it. You got it. Come on. You can do it, little feller. You can do it. And noisemaker. Come on, little feller. You can still do it. Turn back. Ignore that. You're smarter than this guy. Come on. Come on. Get back in there. Will it? I don't want to use it. I, I kind of want to sink it. But I don't want to fire another one at this range, frankly. Oh, come on. Why are you turning away? I didn't see a knuckle or a noisemaker. Bank back in. Plot armor? Like the game developer said, this is a good submarine, therefore it will not sink. I've read a little bit about submarines. I don't remember the Sierras being these elite Russian, you know, god craft. I mean, they were kind of typical Russian submarines as best as I am aware. He's almost got it. Boom! So, let's see what the Sierra does. I imagine he's at least going to maybe be dead in the water or something. Oh, he's really close to land, it looks like. Think she's sinking? Can't really tell. She appears to be surfacing. She may have blown her blown her ballast. That was a really clear ping, by the way. Curse that plot armor. <laughs> uh You'd think we'd have a better fix on this guy if he was really actively pinging us. He does appear to be surfacing. I don't know if that's an emergency blow or what. Seems to be. Don't fire on a surfaced ship. What are we, World War One? Or like, are we, do we care? Hey, JTC. We're in the middle of a insertion mission, but we're not, we got intercepted before we got there and I'm wasting my torpedoes on a Victor and a Sierra. So we may fail the mission, but I'd love to sink an enemy Sierra. I haven't sunk one of those above yet, one of those yet. I mean, there's not necessarily a need to waste my last torpedo, but I don't think he's sinking. Just like a little bit better fix and an understanding of this guy can actually make way. Send the seals. Yeah, we should... Oh, this would be a brilliant idea. Surface next to the Sierra, drop the seals off, let them board and take the sub, capture the Sierra, head home. That'd be worth more than anything. I'll probably regret firing on it. I'll give you that. So there's the Sierra. That's shark fin. You can see the damage from the torpedo. It's making way, but slow. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. I may fail the mission, but I'll sink a Sierra. Gotta be worth something, right? It's on the surface, Elena, because I hit it with a torpedo. I don't know if you just got here or not, but the Sierra is damaged. We'll put a torpedo in its side. It's uh, probably playing the weak hull game. It's currently above the layer. I've just fired a torpedo on it. Oh, the enemy's still pinging us. Although he doesn't have anything in the water. I fired my last Mark 48. Sorry guys, I've got nothing. I've got literally just this one torpedo. I'm firing off my very last torpedo. He's maneuvering. I'm guessing he can't stay submerged, otherwise he'll sink. That would be my hunch. But hopefully he's not able to... You can't play as a Soviet sub yet, Ryan. There are mods that let you do that, but um, they're working on it. Uh, the game is going to release a Soviet campaign with Soviet submarines. Okay, torpedo closing in. I think we're just going to go... Should we just go active? Yeah, let's just go active. Almost in acquisition range. You can see there the torpedo has acquired. The enemy sub's probably going to turn belatedly away. I would hope they're getting their men off the boat by now. You can see the, tor the uh, sub is on the horizon. The torpedo has acquired. Is moving in for the kill. I don't, Empress, I'm not sure if the Soviet campaign would have boomers. I somewhat doubt it, just given the fact, I mean, there might be a mission where you're sinking Ohio's, but um, I highly doubt that there's going to be a version of the game that has boomers, if only because, and really, the noisemakers tricked it on the surface? Um, I highly doubt there will be a version of the game with boomers from the Soviet perspective, because they don't have it for the Allies, or the, the Western Allies. I don't, I don't understand why they'd have it for... For the Soviets, but not the Western Allies. Ito is turning toward the enemy. We've got a little boom party about to come. Man, that Sierra can still maneuver even on the surface. You can see its torpedo tubes here as we zoom in here. It's. What do they have? Eight? Oh, God, that's a lot of torpedo tubes. They have eight torpedo tubes? Where's our fish going? Trying to turn in on the thing. We'll give this captain credit. He's a he's a good skipper there. Another noisemaker. The noisemakers are infallible in driving off your torpedoes. That is a little bit frustrating. <sighs> and now it's not going to have the... It's going to be too close in to, to turn around and hit it. Almost... <laughs> The issue here is almost that the, the Soviet sub is moving too slowly. Oh, wait. Oh, we got it. There you go. Boom. Down goes the Sierra. But we took a torpedo hit, but we sunk a Sierra and a Victor. I'm happy with that result. We have no torpedoes left, though. So, Victor and a Sierra sunk. No weapons remaining. Rudder damage. Navigating this. Alright, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping this is the mission to drop the seals. Alright, rig ship for ultra quiet. I think we have to go into this section, this little circle here, drop the seals. You can see here the floor, apparently this is a very deep section of ocean. And there is a layer at 106 feet, so I think we're going to duck down a little bit. We do have 
62% hull, so we need to be mindful of that. We probably don't want to go too deep, but I think I'll drop to around 400 feet or so and slowly move in. It says we have flooding. Oh. That's really going to hamper us if we have flooding. All right. Well, maybe we just move in at around 200 feet. Again, the layer's at 106, so depending on if the enemy has subs or not. <sighs> this is true. If two subs were sunk, I'm sure the Soviet Air Force would be on top of us. No contacts at this time. We'll TC it in. Enemy contact bearing zero one. Let's actually stop TC. See what we've got. I don't think it's a Grisha, but it's the closest thing that I can see on here. No reloads available. Anybody know how you send your seals off, though? What did I just do? Do I not have any seals on board anymore? The hell? Why do I not see any spec ops? Did I deploy them way too early? Just by clicking on them once without any confirmation? What? <sighs> Good to know. That was stupid as hell. The game should definitely give you confirmation if you're going to do that. And now it does. There was a new patch released since I played this game where the game does give you a warning before you just offload seals into the middle of the ocean. Uh, so no more me killing enemy seals. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and me sinking a Sierra class submarine as well as me killing my own uh, seal team. Uh, we'll return next time for a return to the historical discussions uh, around the uh, submarine force in the early Cold War as we have been Discussing the Cold War to this point, we've talked about the Narwhal class, the Foxtrot class, and then we went all the way back in history and looked at the German Type 21 class, the U.S. Guppy program, uh, the K-1 class submarines, the Barracudas, and the Tang class. And we're approaching the development of the uh, U.S. nuclear class submarines as well, but we haven't gotten there yet. So, or U.S. nuclear submarines, not a class, but we haven't gotten there yet. So in our next video, we'll start creeping along further in that history. We'll actually be looking at weapon systems in that next video. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was just sort of a, uh, a capture of the live stream experience, but I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And until next time, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.